Hey, what's up, everyone? Hippo TC here, and welcome back to another guide video for the new Tall Tales for a Pirate's Life. In this video, I cover all the journal locations, the mirror locations, and all the other combinations along the way. So hopefully by the end of this, you will have everything unlocked. Just like the other Tall Tales, you start this Tall Tale the castaway shack on the beach of any of the outposts go ahead and vote on it and there will be some dialogue you're going to see jack sparrow this is a really cool scene so definitely just kind of appreciate it it's fun and the dialogue's really really good so i highly recommend just to enjoy it rare did a great job with this one and really put a lot of effort into it so, Anyways, after all the dialogue is done, Jack is going to join you on your ship and you're going to need to set sail to the Coral Fortress. Now, it's located in the northern part of the map. It's really quite easy to find. Just look at the northern part of the map and it is right there. As you approach it, I love this scene. I think this is one of my favorite things in the game so far. This Coral Fortress is super cool. Anyways, you're going to go to the front entrance and walk to this door where Jack is going to meet you there. It's way in. This humble trinket once belonged to Tia Dolma, a twin to the one Jones possesses, and the key to his most valuable valuables. My crew found it on the deck of the pearl after Tia was released, shall we say. After Jack opens the door for you, you're going to walk through, and this is where there is a journal and the first mural. So I'm going to show you where those are located. Walking into this first room on the other side of the door, you are going to find your first journal, and it's just right here on the right in the shipwreck. Next, you're going to activate the mural. You do that by using these levers in a specific order. So this is the first one to the left of the cave entrance. Then here is the second one. And the final third one will be right here. Once you do that, you have unlocked the mural and it is going to show right here on the wall. Now that you've done that, you can now swim underneath the water and go through the cave. You're going to follow Jack as he kind of leads you along this path. But at a certain point in this underwater cave, you're going to find the next journal. So keep an eye on it. Swimming up and following the cave, you're going to see Jack kind of go through this uh, rock and he's going to open it for you so you can get through on the other side. Going through it, you're going to come up to this geyser. You're going to shoot up above and this will take you to this pulley system. You're going to use this pulley system to get across and here is another journal. It is right on the other side. After reading the journal, you're going to make your way up to the next room and you're going to see Jack fall down a water slide. Well, a waterfall, but they're water slides. OK, they're they're fun. All you're going to do is follow Jack along this path. And eventually you're going to get shot out into this huge room with the flying Dutchman. And this scene is absolutely incredible. At the end of the video, I actually have just a really cool cinematic shot of this cave. This is amazing. Rare did such a great job with this. Anyways, in this room is another mural. You're going to find the first lever right here. Once you activate this lever, you're going to swim underneath the Dutchman and go to the other side where the second lever is. Once you activate this second lever, the final lever for this mural will be to your left. And there it is.
once you hit that lever to your right the mural will appear if you want to see it After you do that, you're going to climb up the Dutchman and you're going to get to the next part of this tall tale. Jack will be greeting you here at the top. There's a bit of dialogue here, but basically you're going to want to make your way to the bowels of the ship on the second deck. You're going to see this dagger, grab the dagger, and this little cinematic happens with Jack. This ship has a nasty habit of making those aboard her part of the furniture. As Jack pulls it out, the ship is going to come alive and now the captain's quarter is open. So now you can make your way to the next journal that's located in this room. Walking into the captain's quarters to the left, you are going to see the next journal. After that, you're going to take the notes, the sheet music from Jack, and you're going to play this song on the organ. Now, if you're not quite sure what to do, the book tells you, but it's all numbered. It's pretty simple to figure out this puzzle. But yes, this is me playing the song for you just in case you needed that a little bit of extra help. It's working. After you play the song, the cave is going to come alive and you are going to be in a fight. There's quite a few waves to this fight, but it's a pretty simple fight. There's enemies that will spawn all around you, so just go ahead and kill them. There's cannons and food here, so do what you need to do, but I found the cannons being the most effective. After completing these waves of fighting, the door behind the Dutchman will open and you are going to jump down and follow this passage. Let us find out where that door leads, eh? This will lead you to this room. And before you go anywhere and do anything, I want you to swim straight down. And there is another journal located right here in an underwater cage. Next, you're going to cut all of these sunken uh, ship pieces and you're going to have them float to the top. So just go swim around and cut all of these pieces of rope that are holding them down. After that, you have another journal to read. So I'm going to show you where that is. You're going to jump on these now floating pieces of, of wreckage and you're going to make your way over to the journal, which is underneath right here. Now, before you leave this room, there is a mural in this cave, in this room. So here's the first lever. The second lever is going to be behind the waterfall here. And the third lever is going to be underwater right here. The mural will appear underwater if you want to see it, but here's what it looks like. After that, you're going to go back up, use the pulley system to bring down this passageway that's going to kind of unlock the next area for you. You're going to swim over there, talk to Jack. He's going to walk through the wall and deactivate the waterfall and open the passage. Allow me to assist via my newly discovered... The passageway will open and you're just going to walk through it and follow the path up. Getting to the top, you're going to see Jack and a few mermaid statues. And if you guys remember oh, tall tale number two, that means we are in for some more mermaid puzzles. 
pretty simple either way what's going to happen is jack is going to do a bit of dialogue do a little bit of storytelling he's going to go on the other side of this kind of wall this shipwreck and he's going to hand you the siren's heart allowing you to move the arm of the siren that's missing a hearthstone this looks like it could be important or at the very least valuable why don't you take it scout ahead while i continue the search who knows what else jones has buried down here each statue needs to have their arms in the highest position possible once you do that you're just going to shoot the statue or hit the statue with the horn and it will open up the next door In this next section, we are going to have some more mermaid statues that we're going to need to move their arms. So just look around the room. The barnacle is going to be the lowest. The chain is going to be the medium. And the stone is going to be in the highest position for the arm. After doing that, you're going to go back to the pulley, pull this uh, wreckage all the way up. Make sure you have some ammo because you're going to need to shoot the statue with the horn to turn off the waterfall. So as soon as you get that thing pulled up all the way, you're going to shoot the statue and it will turn off the waterfall. Once the waterfall is off, you're just going to jump over here and make your way up to the next area. Before you leave this room, we have another mural to activate. Here's the first lever. Here is the second lever and the third lever you can find back on the other side to the left. After activating this mural, you can see it on the ceiling here if you want to get a good look at it. After completing that, you're going to move to this door, which is being blocked by two statues. Make sure that their arms are in the position that are marked in the highest position. And once you do that, all you need to do is shoot the statue with the horn, which you can find right here on the left. After shooting the statue, the door will open and you're going to make your way through it. Once you jump down, you're going to get to the next part of the map, and there's going to be a little bit of a fight right here at the bottom of this jump off this waterfall for you. So go ahead and fight these guys. But before you leave this room, there is a journal in there, and I want to show you the location of that. After you've completed all the enemies, the journal is right here on the right. Now you're going to make your way up the passageway a little bit further. This geyser is going to shoot you up top and you're going to basically cut down the door that is blocking your passage. This will open the door and you can just kind of walk through and follow the path through. Eventually you are going to get to this stone that you shoot to allow you walk through and into the next part of the tall tale. 
and like you see here we have more mermaids that we need to activate to fill up the water very similar to tall tale number two in this case everything is marked on the walls so just find the statues that have the chains the barnacles and the stone make sure those statues are in the correct position and once they are just shoot the statue with the horn like we've been doing this will fill up the room with water and this is going to lead you to the next journal and another mural for you to activate On the top here, once the room is filled up, the journal is on the left, and you can find it right here. After reading that journal, I'm going to have you hit the first lever in the sequence for the next mural, which is located right here, and you're going to make your way up this passageway. Once you're here, you're going to see this pulley system. You're going to pull this up, raising this big mass, and you're going to use that to jump to the next lever. After you hit that lever, the last lever is in the water, so just jump down. Now you're going to make your way through this passageway, but I do want to show off this mural just in case you didn't get a chance to see it. Now, to get through this, it's pretty simple. Just use the two levers, the two dolly systems to kind of raise these masts in the position that they need to be in. And you're just gonna climb up the mast and jump across. Riding down the water slide, it's going to drop you to this dark brethren meeting that we are going to sneak upon. Now, I recommend kind of staying back in the shadows and listening to the conversation because it's a really interesting conversation and really cool lore kind of being dropped in here. So take your time with this part. But before you go any further, I do want to point out that there is a journal right here on the right side that you need to make sure that you get. Now, listening to this lore that is basically being shared or this story from Davy Jones, it just adds so much to the CFD story. And I'm just, it just reminds me about how excited I am for this kind of partnership between CFDs and Rare and Disney. I mean, there's no better pirate game out there than Sea of Thieves, and there's no better pirate story than Pirates of the Caribbean. So, all this to say, I have been loving these tall tales. Anyways, after the meeting, you're going to find the last journal located right here next to the uh, the chairs. Now, before you leave this room, there is a commendation in here that you need to do, the heart of a thief. You're going to go right here and you're going to enter this code in to this sequence. It goes shark, mermaid, trident, cannons, and the last one is the galleon or the ship. After this opens, grab the key and you're going to use this key to open up Davy Jones special treasure chest and grab the note from it. There you go. At this point, you've done everything that you need to do. You just need to finish the tall tale. You're going to follow the path down. There's going to be some dialogue. You're going to do a big boss fight with the gold hoarder, Davy Jones, and all of it. It's a lot of fun. Just enjoy this fight. There's a lot of good dialogue there. There's some fun scenes with Jack kind of getting hung from the ceiling or where he busts through the wall with the ship. Just enjoy the fight. Oh, 
And that's it. That is the tall tale. I hope you guys like this guide video and I hope you found this video useful. If you did, make sure to let me know in the comments below. I love reading all of your feedback. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks again for watching. And like I said, I hope you guys found this video useful. Shall we have a look around?